Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Spoiler Zone. If you're as obsessed with Mad Max, Fury Road, as I am, then you're in for a treat. Today, we're diving into the world of hidden details, Easter eggs, and subtle references that even the most hardcore fans might have missed. Whether you're a longtime fan of the Mad Max franchise or just love finding those tiny details that make a movie even more epic, this video is for you. So, buckle up, because we're heading back into the wasteland to uncover the secrets of Mad Max, Fury Road. All right, let's kick things off with a nod to the original Mad Max trilogy. Did you notice that the steering wheel of the war rig has a small metallic skull on it? This isn't just a random design choice. It's a tribute to the wheel from the Interceptor in the original Mad Max films. It's a subtle way of linking this new chapter with its roots and giving longtime fans a little wink. Speaking of callbacks, how about the character Immortan Joe? Now, here's a mind-blowing detail. Immortan Joe is played by Hugh Keysburn, the same actor who played Toe Cutter, the main antagonist in the very first Mad Max movie back in 1979. George Miller, the director, brought him back into the franchise as a different villain to create this sense of continuity while also paying homage to where it all started. Let's talk about the guitarist who practically stole the show, the Doof Warrior. Not only does he rock a guitar that shoots fire, but his character also has a hidden backstory that most people miss. If you look closely, his mask is made of a human face, which is a nod to his brutal origin story where he's said to have played music to keep himself sane while surviving in the wasteland. It's details like these that add so much depth to this seemingly outrageous character. Now, here's a fun Easter egg that ties into pop culture. The War Boys chant, Witness Me, which they shout before sacrificing themselves has become a bit of a meme. But did you know it also has a deeper meaning rooted in Norse mythology? It's similar to the Viking belief that dying in battle earns you a place in Valhalla. George Miller layered this reference into their culture to make the war boys' motivations even more intense and dramatic. Let's not forget the iconic phrase, what a lovely day, which has become synonymous with the film. It's not just a catchphrase, it's actually a nod to the madness of the wasteland itself, where the most brutal and chaotic day can still be seen as lovely in their twisted reality. It perfectly captures the spirit of the world they live in, where danger is just another part of the landscape. And for those eagle-eyed viewers, did you catch the tiny nods to the original trilogy in the form of vehicle names? The war rig is called the Razor Cola, which is a play on the Pursuit Special from the earlier films. It's a clever way of blending the legacy of the franchise with the new, souped-up designs that we see in Fury Road. One last hidden gem, the use of blue and orange colors throughout the film. George Miller intentionally used these contrasting colors to create a striking visual palette. It's not just about looking cool. This choice is a subtle nod to old comic book styles, giving the film that larger-than-life, almost surreal feel that makes it so unique. There you have it, folks. These are just some of the hidden details and Easter eggs that make Mad Max, Fury Road more than just an action-packed thrill ride. It's a film layered with nods to its own history, clever references to pop culture, and the kind of details that reward you every time you watch it again. What hidden details or Easter eggs did you spot in Mad Max, Fury Road, that we didn't cover? Drop your discoveries in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you never miss an update from the spoiler zone. Until next time, keep your eyes peeled for those hidden gems in every movie.